Mrs. Shannon here, and I am going to try to um, navigate setting up an EduBlog using a student account. So I am going to use a different account than my normal school account. So hopefully I can walk you through the steps on doing this. Um, so in Google Classroom, under your classwork, week two, it says EduBlog sign up. If you click into it, there is a website where I pushed out the link to get started. Before you do it, um, or before you can actually get in, you need to provide some information about yourself. So I'm going to create a fake student account. We'll see if this works. And I am going to go ahead and type in. Now, I don't know if this is going to be uh, available to use. So I might have to change my username. If that happens, then just go ahead and change it until you get one that's available. Um, I'm going to call my site title. Now, this for everyone, it's going to be Science Friday, but I'm going to call my site specifically um, Mrs. Shannon's Student Science Friday. If you want to call it by your name, I wouldn't use first and last name. I would do first name and last initial. Um, or just last name or something creative to tie it into Science Friday, uh, just as long as it's school appropriate and try to relate it to science somehow. Agree, agree, and I'm not a robot. Now you guys are gonna use your school email. I used a different email account just so I can see if I can get it. So it's creating a site. Yay, I've been registered. Okay, so here are the account details. Uh, make sure to write them down. Take a picture, screenshot this screen, or put it in Google Keep, so that way you can get to it anytime you need. The next thing you're gonna do is go to the dashboard. I don't Because I honestly don't think I can retrieve your username or password. When you get to this site right here, this is your dashboard. Um, it's kind of your starting page, it's your hub. Um, here's the class that I set up, Mrs. Shannon's Science Friday. So this is how I actually um, set it up here. Um, there's different, oh, I did pull me, oh, oh yeah. So it's automatically gonna attach um, your blog to my website. So it's going to add you into my class. That's what the link does is it adds you in. So my site, why I was confused, is that I said it was Mrs. Shannon's Student Science Friday, which is really similar to my actual class name, which is Mrs. Shannon Science Friday. Um, but this is going to attach you to it. So once you are here, um, you're going to see the other information in the class. And then you are going to be ready to start making your own posts. So to make a post, go to my, go to posts, all posts, add new posts. Um, here's our class blog. Start kind of um, experimenting around. Mrs. Shannon Science Friday. Um, we used this last, we didn't use it last year, we used it the year before, so you can see some of the ones from the year before. Um, you can go to my sites. And notice, you're attached automatically to My Science Friday site, but here's the one that you just created. And this is what I want you to do, is I want you to go into your own that you just created. Oh, it still stays on there. And we're gonna go to a new post. And here we can add a new post, sample new post. Today we are starting a new post. Okay. Um, when I'm done, I'm ready to preview it. When I click preview, it takes me to this. This is kind of like the default page here. Okay. So here is my default page. From here, I can edit my post, I can customize it. So I can play around and I can change the way it looks. So like, I think it's really boring, so I might want to play around with changing my name. Let's see, what else, what else can I do? I can change the colors, color scheme. Let's go with 
I like green, but I don't see it. I don't see red, which is our team. So I'll go with blue. I'll change it to blue. Okay. And then head bar and sidebar colors. Ooh, there's green. Ooh, I, ooh, that doesn't really show up too much. But I can play around here with colors. Um, then I can go back and I can change the background image. So maybe instead of what they have, let's see what I have in here. I can look and see what's on my computer. You're going to see a lot of screenshots. Ignore them. Mm, oh, this looks pretty. I'm going to move me up so I can hit open. Okay. And move me there. And choose image. And ta-da, now I have a background image. So one of the assignments for this week is for you guys to kind of start decorating your blog. And I want you to write a initial entry, like, hello, Science Friday world, okay? It is 2020, 2021, the time of quarantine and hybrid and virtual learning. And we are about to embark on this great adventure of Science Friday that I know nothing about. Um, that can be a starting point for you, or you make it as creative as you want. Play around, get comfortable. Um, when you are done, though, I think you do need to save. It's Okay, so when you're done, you're going to want to publish it. I'm going to go back to background. When you're finished, hit publish, and it will save it for you, okay? You can change your themes right here. Ooh, see, it? it's a whole new world. It's been a while since I've used it. Okay, um, so... Your goal is to log in. I'm going to go back to the My Sites. When you get here, you may be defaulted onto My Site because I'm your teacher and this is the master site where it's going to have everyone else's site available for me to look at. I'm going to have access to your site. You'll have access to My Site and I'll have access to your site. You cannot post on My Site. So I'll be posting your stuff on my site. It sounds weird. So there should be two sites posted once you are in. Unless you've done this um, with Ms. Chapman or another class, in which case you may see your old uh, sites there. The other thing once you're in is I want you to post and I want you to play around with the template. One initial post and play around with the template. Please make sure that you save and publish when you're done. So again, to save it. Okay, here's my dashboard here. Um, I can either go to appearance. And this will show me some different ones. This is the one I was in. Okay. I might want to change it to activate. So you can access it, the appearance ones from your um, dashboard or you can go straight into visiting your site here, and you can customize it from here. And that's usually the way that I do is I just visit um, visit it, customize it from here so I can see what's going on and click new. Okay. So I hope this helps. I know I was kind of fiddling and getting used to it during this as well, but I wanted you to see it from a brand new student's perspective as you first log in. So to recap, I think I just discovered the easiest thing once you're in to work on your personal site is to go up to my site's go to whatever your site is, visit it, and then you can customize it. You can add a new post from here, okay? So good luck. Um, email me with any challenges you have, and I will try to help you, okay? Cheers, guys.